Every search you make, every click you take, they'll be watching you. Tired of companies like Google and Facebook watching everything you do online? There's actually a simple solution. DuckDuckGo. It's an all-in-one privacy app with a built-in private search engine, web browser, one-click data clearing, email protection, and more. All for free. Download the app today and get the most comprehensive privacy protection with the push of a button. DuckDuckGo. Privacy simplified. Heading out on a trip soon? Make sure you check the tire pressure and secure trailer chains. Sparks from a loose chain or a dragging tire can start a devastating wildfire. Let's work together to protect our public lands. For more information, visit NevadaFireInfo.org. This podcast on 97.3 The Fan is brought to you by Hamul Casino, San Diego's closest casino. Real close, real friendly, real fun. From the really, really good... Back to the wall! It's gone! Home run, Garvey! And there will be tomorrow! To the really, really bad... Oh, oh, wide open. He throws, it's caught. <laughs> Nixon streaking down the sideline to the 20. Gets a block oh, from Chase baby. and runs it into the end. We got some radio calls. Gwen and Chris are going to rate them. A right-handed hitter back in there. Strasburg ready to go. It's rate the radio call. The one-two pitch slider, strike three, ball, a no-hitter. On 97.3 The Fan. It's that time of the week again, rate the radio call, where I find some calls and I bring them to Tony and Chris and they rate them on a scale of 1 to 10. And I did some really, really deep searching this time around because I really wanted to find some calls that you, I, and the listeners would uh, feel maybe a little bit closer to. So that's uh, what I did and we're going to hear from Wimbledon. So Chris should be very excited about that. I'm excited too. Chris ain't the only one like tennis. I well, I mean, I've never heard a tennis radio call before in my life. Well, we're gonna hear one. Yeah, yeah. I was really impressed by it. So, but I, I wanted to start with Melanie Newman, Orioles play-by-play woman. We talked to her on the show last week, and I wanted to get a rate the radio call in there since we did have her on. This game was a blowout on the wrong side for the Orioles. They were playing the Blue Jays in Toronto late in the game. And a first career hit for Kyle Stowers on the Orioles radio network. Stowers looking for his first big league hit. A one. He drives this one up and over the middle, and there it is. Kyle Stowers drives this one into left field. Adley Rutschman is motoring around. He's going to score. How about you, Kyle Stowers? He has got an RBI hit, his first in the big leagues. He gets them both. And he is safe aboard at second, sends the air raid back to the dugout. Welcome to the big leagues. His third at bat breaks up the shutout with his first big league hit. Save that baseball. Save that baseball indeed. Now, Chris, what do you think 1 to 10 rate that radio call? Well, I didn't think a whole lot of it, honestly. Uh, I like Melanie Newman, and I appreciate her being on the show, but I'm not going to let that uh, factor into my decision-making on a uh, on a radio call. Um, first of all, um, she said the ball was hit up the middle and then said it went into left field, so I didn't really have much of a picture of it. Also, never knew that Kyle Sowers ended up on second base until well into the call. When he was standing on second base, I did not know it was a double. Uh, I just thought it was a hit. I was trying to figure out in my mind where it was. So, um, you know me, I like theater of the mind for radio calls. And uh, now the information was solid all the way around in terms of his big league hit and, and the first time and welcome to the club and making a signal back to the dugout and get that baseball. I like their finish. So I'm going to give her a, uh, I'm gonna give her a six, but... Uh, Theater of the mind, it didn't play well in my mind. And that is why we call you the Simon Cowell of Rate the Radio Call. <laughs> I'm sorry, Melon. No, that, no, it's the, you, you, I appreciate how seriously you take your position as judge. Is that a radio call? That is a radio call. Okay. I got it from their radio data bank that we have. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I have to go along with what Chris said there. Um, there was a lot of information, but I don't know that it was organized properly. You know, she got all of it in, but the second base part didn't come till the end. Probably should have been somewhere closer to the beginning. Um, all of the, um, I don't know how you would, what's the word I'm looking for, but all of the pizzazz, pizzazz about it being the first hit 
probably should have been structured more towards the end there. But, yep. uh, yeah, six. Six is, is the number. Well, now I feel bad for bringing the call up, guys. Well, I don't I don't feel bad because, I mean, I like to play calls that are great and, and, and other ones. And, and I want people to, you know, close your mind and listen to this call. Play it one more time. Close, close your mind. I was going to say, your open your mind. I was going to say, unless, close your mind. Unless you're driving. But close your eyes and listen to this. See if you can picture where this ball goes. And, and I honestly think you'll have trouble doing it. Stowers looking for his first big league hit. Oh, one. He drives this one up and over the middle, and there it is. Kyle Stowers drives this one into left field. Adley Rutschman is motoring around. He's going to score. How about you, Kyle Stowers? That's all I'm saying. It was driven up the middle, and it was into left field. That, that makes it really difficult to figure out where that ball is. So, you know, you have to take what we give you. We are judging <laughs> jury. That's a fair, that's a fair call. <laughs> We're not judging only that, jury. Not only that, just based on the hit, the run probably scored a while before yeah, it's yeah. actually mentioned. You know, so you know. I think that's fair. Six. Got to take care of the nuts and bolts, and then get all the fun stuff in. All right, moving on to tennis. That that builds credibility right there. It does. I'm a little stunned <laughs> by this whole thing. <laughs> I, I, I I thought I picked a decent call. So um, anyway, we'll move on to tennis. Across if you the played phone. one of my calls back from the day, I'd probably find quite a few sixes myself. So Strasburg ready to go. That was a seven. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a little radio, rate the radio called tennis is what I said. Wimbledon radio from Sunday. Oh, no, okay. don't, don't do that. Across the, the pond. <laughs> I've heard tennis Center on court. radio, and I'm looking forward to hearing how this is going to sound because it's really difficult to do. It is, and it's pretty amazing. Yannick Sinner is trying to close out Spain's Carlos Alcaraz Garcia in the round of 16. Here is Rob Koenig on Wimbledon radio. High fly right center. Wait. Buxton chasing oh, that, it. Dang that, it. That's definitely not the tennis. All that right, definitely well, high just, fly. I just revealed my last call. I can't believe I did that. That's but okay. here it is, Wimbledon Radio. Alcaraz, the first serve. He goes flat wide. It's the backhand return. He was waiting for it with center. He's got a four and he goes inside out. Backhand middle of the court. Backhand cross court center. Backhand Alcaraz. Backhand center. It's right on the line. He's having to run to a four and he goes cross court. Are you kidding me? Sensational when it matters most from Yannick. <laughs> He's gone straight nitro on a forehand. He's straight gone nitro. straight nitro on a forehand. forehand. I like Rob. I Koenig. like that. I was very into this call. I've listened to it so many times. That has got to be so hard. Can you imagine? You? I just started thinking about it as he was going, and I was, I'm thinking to myself, there's no way. And he was still finding time to mix in a little bit of Pizazz. forehand, backhand, <laughs> middle of the court, on the line. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I actually saved this. Are you kidding me? Uh, so, Tony, you're up first on this one. 10 rate that radio call. I think an eight. <laughs> I, I I think an eight. Um, yeah, man, that was that's that seems that's even faster than basketball, oh, which is probably faster. the fastest, right? Yeah, that's way faster. That's, maybe hockey, it, maybe hockey, volleyball, mm-hmm. hockey. The puck doesn't change hands that quickly, though. I mean, a yeah. shot goes back and forth. Uh, that was that was impressive. Did anybody I, else envision him just going his head going back to forth while he was saying it? How I about did. the fact that there's like over 500 points in a match? He has to do that not All once the time. but 500 times. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah, that I'm gonna give true. it an eight. I don't know exactly why I'm giving it an eight. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> but, but I'm giving it an eight. Chris, rate that radio. I'm call. going off the board for an eleven. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Just the fact that he could spit that all out, I, I really couldn't tell what was happening, and that is usually my number one judge on radio calls is if I can picture it in my mind. But I don't see how you could do tennis and get somebody to picture it in their mind on radio. Does he get extra points because at the end he said sensational instead of for sinner? Oh, he does get extra points for that. I will give him one drawback, though. I didn't know who won the point. Ah, I didn't know who got the last shot in. I know it was an amazing shot. Now, later he goes... Jakob Sinner has gone straight nitro. Yeah, yeah. So I knew that it was he who won the point, but it took until he said that for me to know who won the point. He said so something he else earlier, though. Point for that. All right, he said something it. earlier. He said, See if you can tell who wins the point. Until Alcaraz, the first serve. He goes flat wide. It's the backhand return. He was waiting for it with Sinner. He's got a four and he goes inside out. Backhand middle of the court. Backhand cross court Sinner. Backhand Alcaraz. Backhand Sinner. It's right on the line. He's having to run to a four and he goes cross court. Are you kidding me? 
sensational <laughs> when it matters most from Yannick. Yeah. You know he's he gone straight nitro on a forehand. Yeah, once. when it yeah. when it matters most for Yannick. Yannick. Sensational. <laughs> Can you imagine if you were just sitting in your backyard having a glass of iced tea, listening to that on a lazy Sunday afternoon? You'd be sweating. By the <laughs> yeah, end no kidding. No uh, kid. Trying to figure out what's going on. Oh, I love that. I love that. All right, you've uh, already kind of heard the final call, and then we have a classic call for it today. July 4th, Twins at the White Sox. If you didn't know, history was made in this game. Byron Buxton, Twins outfielder, completed the first 8-5 to five Triple play. First time ever in baseball history, and this is the call on Twins Radio Network. High fly right center. Buxton chasing it. Making the catch at the wall. They've got a possible triple play. There's two. Now a throw to first will be a triple play. Byron Buxton catching it at the wall, and there will be three outs at the end of all this. Now, they, they need to throw to second, I believe. So, Urshela touched second base. Urshela touched second base. He was running by. But Okay. A triple play will end the seventh inning. I just love how he goes. That's one of, like, okay. Yeah, that's one of the hardest. That's got to be one of the hardest calls in baseball right there. The triple play? Because there's so many people moving. And because you're, you can't follow a baseball, in this particular case, you, he, he touched a bag. And if you miss that piece... Then your call is... You is, don't know where any of the runners really are. Right. And where they're supposed to be. Uh, One to ten, Tony. I mean, on technicality, I got to give it like a seven. Okay. All right. Nine. Chris, Chris, Chris. One to ten. I can't go higher than a five. He was he was lost. Completely yeah. lost. <laughs> now, I know that it's... Degree of difficulty is ten. Yeah. But to so call does he get points for that? Five. Yeah, I'm giving him some points for that. Otherwise, I'd Even give him a two. Even though you gave him a five? A what? Yeah, I, I probably am high. No, Chris is right. Whatever I'm probably happened high. after Byron Buxton caught the ball, he had no idea. He just stood there. He just said it was going to be a triple play. <laughs> then there was dead air for about ten yeah, seconds. Yeah, so he knew <laughs> That the runners were go- were going to be a triple. It he just didn't know how to how to get it off. It was a problem. Chris all the says way it through. was a problem. <laughs> it was problematic. Sorry, sorry, pal. It's all right. Degree uh, of difficulty ten. Execution five. Uh, my uh, rating, my call gathering this week. I thought I was coming in with at least a nine, and I I feel like I'm leaving with a three. And the only reason I got a three was because Wimbledon was in there. Yeah, right. It might be accurate. Man, I felt really good about this call. <laughs> <laughs> you might be accurate. Well, you're going to save yourself with the classic call. Okay, well, I didn't pick it, so I'm going to out myself as that. But, Chris, you did. I did uh, in honor of uh, Theodore, Ted Leitner, who's Theodore. going into the Padres Hall of Fame yesterday. I thought we'd play a classic call Here's from concept. Ted Leitner. Bite me. Hey, I'm being nice <laughs> to you, Ted, for a rare change. But uh, No, I think we had to go with a Ted Leitner call from the 98 World Series. Great moment in Padre history. And celebrate Ted going into the Hall of Fame. Set to Tony, fastball high, deep right field, up toward the right field, foul ball, to that's fair, it's gone, and it is going and gone. Home run, Anthony Keith Quinn for two Padres. I wonder how many times you ever called my dad Anthony. Anthony Keith Quinn, probably not too many on a home run call. Yeah, that's just a little moment for Padre yeah, fans yeah. to enjoy and I celebrate. wish I could have found like the entire call, but that was uh, MLB.com, so I went yeah, with that. Yeah, we didn't get the whole thing there, but uh, we got what we could. Ted, uh, congratulations from all of us to Ted. Going into the Padres Hall of Fame, long overdue, well-deserved, and uh, enjoy your we'll day tomorrow, be happening tomorrow. tomorrow so. yes. Tomorrow is the day, so Before if you go the to game. the Padre game, get there early tomorrow. Celebrate Theodore. I don't want to call him that because I'm not close enough to him to call him Theodore. No, you're Theodore not. Leitner. No, you're not. <laughs> Mr. Leitner. Mr. Yes, Leitner. You, you're reserved for that. All right, that's Rate the Radio Call for this Wednesday. We'll take a timeout when we come back. Chris versus the fans. Let's play some trivia. Dial in 833-288-0973. That's next. Hi, I'm Allie Raisman. I've been living with migraine for a while. As an athlete and gymnast, I was taught to just power through the pain. Now I use Ubrelvi or Ubrojapan to treat my migraine attacks. As soon as I feel a migraine attack, I take Ubrelvi, which provides me with quick relief. Once I get relief, I go on with my day. I'm partnering with Ubrelvi to share my migraine story. Ubrelvi quickly stops migraine in its tracks within two hours without worrying where you are. 
Most people had quick pain relief within two hours. Ubrel-V treats migraine attacks in adults and is not for prevention. It's available by prescription only. Do not take Ubrel-V with strong CYP3A4 inhibitors. Tell your healthcare provider about all the medicines you take. Most common side effects are nausea and tiredness. My hope is that by sharing my migraine story and the relief I get from Ubrel-V, it can help someone else. Ask your doctor about Ubrel-V, the anytime, anywhere migraine medicine. Learn more at ubrelvy.com or call 844-4 UBRELVY. Sponsored by AbV. Every search you make, every click you take, they'll be watching you. Tired of companies like Google and Facebook watching everything you do online? There's actually a simple solution. DuckDuckGo. It's an all-in-one privacy app with a built-in private search engine, web browser, one-click data clearing, email protection, and more. All for free. Download the app today and get the most comprehensive privacy protection with the push of a button. DuckDuckGo. Privacy simplified. In 1970, a 28-year-old recent law school graduate became the most wanted woman in America. She's also my mother. I'm Zaid Ayers-Dorn, host of the new podcast, Mother Country Radicals. When I was growing up, my parents were on the run from the FBI, at war with the U.S. government. From Crooked Media and Odyssey, Mother Country Radicals, a family history of the Weather Underground. Listen to the entire first season of Mother Country Radicals right now, here on Odyssey. Odyssey.